summer sleepover, so this is my new series where basically I'm trying to make it seem like I am having a sleepover with you guys so we can like kind of connect on a more personal level. I want you guys to feel like I'm actually like sitting there with you and just like we're just having a conversation. So yeah, basically I came up with this sleepover series idea where first I show you my pajamas of the night and then we're going to do some Q&A so I answer some of your more personal questions and then also some advice questions so I can like give you guys advice on like school and boys and friends and all that kind of stuff and then we do like an activity and then we make a snack and I just thought it'd be a really fun video to kind of like show you guys what you can do at your sleepovers and also at the same time like make it feel like we're having a sleepover together so yeah I love having sleepovers and I'm excited to start having them with you guys so let's just get started the sound of your voice makes me feel invincible I can't even feel my heartbeat so it's time to let you know that I've been feeling you for a while now But I can't explain what you do to me When you pass, I fall right down to the floor Make me lose my sober sleep I can't even find the words To tell you how I feel for you Baby, I ain't got a clue So I'ma sing you melody now we are doing the snack portion of the video and here I'm just going to show you a fun sleepover snack you can make and since 4th of July is on Thursday I decided that I'm going to make a fun 4th of July snack that you can make with your friends. So first you're going to need these like chocolate melting candies and I just got these from Walmart and you want to get the white chocolate ones. So then you're going to need some red, white, and blue sprinkles. And you are going to need some lollipop sticks and some Oreos. First, we're going to take our candy melting wafers. I'm pretty sure that's what they are called. And we're just going to microwave them for one minute. I just figured out that my microwave has an open and close button. So, voila. So I just took the white chocolate out of the microwave and now you're just going to have to mix it up until it is all one smooth consistency. So first you're going to take your Oreo and you're going to separate the top from the bottom. And I didn't realize this when I bought my Oreos, but you actually need to buy double stuffed Oreos so the stick can fit in between the two cookies. But I didn't know that so I'm just putting two layers of frosting on there so there's enough room for the stick. And then you're just going to take a dab of white chocolate and put that right in the center of the Oreo. And then you're just going to take one of your lollipop sticks and you're going to place it right where the frosting was and like stick it in between the frosting. So this chocolate should act as like a glue for these two and then you're going to stick the cookie back on top. And then you're going to let that dry. So I just added another packet of the white chocolate to this bowl and now we have officially done all the Oreos so I'm just going to take the Oreo and I'm going to dip both sides into the chocolate. And then you want to take your sprinkles and I like to take a spoon and just sprinkle those on. Want to leave them out for 20 to 30 minutes. I asked you to use the hashtag Ask Chloe and ask me questions um, for advice and also a little bit more personal questions, so I'm just going to answer those now. Tips for incoming freshmen. So freshman year is different for everyone. Some people have a really great freshman year and others just have it really hard because you're moving to a new school, you don't know anyone. My freshman year was kind of tough because I was really, really small and I got bullied and another question was have I ever gotten bullied and in high school freshman year I got bullied um, for being really really short the senior boys would like um, they would throw like little balls of paper at me and they would make fun of me and like call me midget and stuff I don't know what everyone's high school is like but for me freshman year was a little bit rough I wasn't expecting people to be so mean like some people in the hallway will like push you around especially if you're small 
yeah, but other than that, um, just like be really open. Just want to welcome anyone in, even if they don't seem like they would be your friend. Freshman year is the time to just make all those new friends and like find your little circles. I got an overwhelming amount of questions on my first kiss and I'm going to tell you guys the story. I was 15 when I got my first kiss. I was going into sophomore year and I was on a cruise. I just kind of like really really wanted to get it over with. I was just like super rushed and anxious about it. I just thought that like if I hadn't kissed someone by the time I was a sophomore it'd be really bad and that's wrong by the way. So I met this guy on a cruise and we started like talking a little bit and um, we just like hung out for a couple days. One night we decided to go to the movie theater on the cruise and we went in there and we sat down and there was like this movie about animals playing. It was really boring. We just like turned to each other and we just started kissing and um, it was really really terrible. I was like shocked at what this was. I was like how is this kissing? Is this really what it's supposed to be like? We probably kissed for like a couple minutes and then I just like, <laughs> he wanted to take the elevator back up to the like main floor and I did not want to be in an elevator alone with him so I was like, no, let's take the stairs. So we just like, I started running up like a separate stairway from him and he was trying to like get close to me and I just like sprint up the stairs. I came back to my room and I was just like crying and I was like, is this really what kissing is supposed to be like? I just was so shocked. When you picture kissing, like in the movies and everything, you think it's going to be some really romantic special thing and it might be if it's with someone you really like, but if it's with a random guy and especially your first kiss, it's just straight out like tongues together. You just don't realize that it's going to be like that, and that's exactly what it is. Someone asked me on Twitter, what do you do when all your friends start to exclude you? I know exactly what to do in this situation because it's happened to me. It is the worst feeling in the world when all your friends just start to exclude you and just hang out without you. It happened to me in seventh grade with my friends. So basically, you know what? Screw that. I just decided to make new friends. So someone on Instagram asked me if I've ever had a long-term relationship, and no I haven't. Everyone moves at their own pace. A lot of you guys have asked me if I have a crush right now, and no I don't. I wish I did because having a crush is a lot of fun. So someone on Instagram asked me if people at my school treat me differently because I'm famous. I guess you could say they do because a lot of people at school like will come up to me and ask me about it, but they'll be like joking but not. Like they ask me all these questions about it. Um, but no one's really like starstruck in front of me. So a lot of you guys asked me about my period, like embarrassing period stories and the first time I got my period and all that kind of stuff. So I decided that I would save that for the next episode. So whenever the next summer sleepover comes out, you guys better check it out and I will answer those questions for you. I can't even feel my heartbeat So it's time to let you know That I've been feeling you for a while now But I can't explain what you do to me When you pass, I fall right down to the floor Make me lose my super sleep I can't even find the words To tell you how I feel for you Baby, I ain't got a clue So I'ma sing you a melody sleepover. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and please give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more episodes. So I had so much fun doing this video and I like that I kind of got to like interact more with you guys I guess so you guys felt like it was a sleepover with the both of us and I really hope that you guys got some good ideas from it. So if you guys do any of these ideas please post them on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag summer sleepover with Chloe so I can see them. And that is it, so I will talk to you guys on Saturday. Bye!